Hi everyone, welcome back to the podcast. It's a Saturday morning and my team seems to be all over the place here on a Friday evening. So we're trying to get this stuff ready for you guys because it's been end of the day today. It's been a crazy long day because Anand's back in the studio. So we've been trying to get some videos out with him and one thing to lead to another and it's just been a long day. Plus it's Shasha's birthday too, so we had to do that celebration too. So I hope you're having a wonderful weekend and your Saturday morning and you're looking forward to Saturday evening, which is considered to be the highlight of the weekend for most of us anyway. So what did I want to talk about today? I want to talk about why most side hustles never work for the average person. What do you mean by side hustle? Side hustle is time to do something on the side to earn that extra income. And a lot of us want this, we desire this, but for most people, for the average person, this doesn't work. And I want to talk about why it doesn't work. And you'll be surprised. It's not nothing to do with the idea. It's got more to do with the mo uh, how your mindset is behind it. So the motivation alone doesn't equate to success. A lot of people want it. And many people believe that they're putting in effort because they're, motiv they're motivated and uh, they're trying hard. And however, simply having motivation doesn't always achieve success. Being motivated is not going to create a side hustle which is successful for you. You need to be smart about your motivation. And if you're not smart, no matter how hard you try, you're not going to get anywhere. And I can give you lots of examples of this. And very famously, Durbai Ambani had said this, that if someone says they're working hard and they're not successful, there are only two things. Either the person is lying or the person is extremely stupid. And my team seems to be finding something hilarious behind me and they're laughing. I don't know what it is. They're all trying to like, really control <laughs> what's happening back there. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> they've all exited the room now. So it's just me alone with the camera where they're having a good laugh about something or another. Anyway, consistency is the key. YouTube ventures fail partly because people are not consistent. YouTube rewards content creators who are always up there and putting up new content consistently. If you want to be consistent on YouTube, you have to be, I mean, you want to be successful on YouTube, you have to be consistent. You know, this is one of the reasons why Anand has been successful and Anand has been so big on YouTube is because rain or shine, he gets a video out every day. People can depend on him, people can follow him and people can rely on him to have some content, something to watch regarding finance and personal finance and growth on YouTube every day. And that is why consistency is the key. So if you have a side hustle and YouTube is one of your side hustles, remember more than the algorithm, be consistent. Yes, algorithm is important. Hashtagging or whatever, all the other stuff which you do to f tweak your videos, thumbnails, clickbait, all that is important. But if you're not doing it consistently, you're not going to see any reward. Lack of focus is a third thing which I wanted to hit upon. Switching topics frequently from this to that. Let's say one day you're talking about Disney, next day you're talking about iPhones can be very confusing for the audience and uh, confuses the algorithm of the platform too. So success often comes if you're finding a niche and you stick to it. So if you're talking about, like we talk about personal finance and personal growth and investing, that's our niche and we stick to it. You don't catch me talking about music. You don't catch me talking about movies or talking about cookery or interiors or how to do interior decorating or how to do cooking <laughs> because that's not my niche and it'll confuse my audience and confuse the algorithm and basically it will start ruining whatever effort you've made. So you find what you're good at, your niche, and then you hone it, you sit and sharpen it. Like how you see people sharpening knives, it's an art to sit there and patiently keep working on that till it's very, very sharp. So keep that in mind. Stay focused on what you're doing. Understanding the platform is essential. To be successful, you must invest your time to understanding the platform. A lot of people don't do this when it comes to Spotify, YouTube, or any other uh, social media platform you want to be very good at. You don't know what you're doing. You just, you've been using the platform, you've been consuming the platform, and you're like, yes, I also can do this. I can be like Anand, I can come on top in front of the camera. I can just talk this talk. It's nothing difficult and I can do it. No, it's not so simple. I would suggest that you spend some time understanding and learning the platform, how the platform works and how you can offer your talent to your audience through this platform is critical. So if you don't do that and if you don't spend some time actually studying and learning about the platform, you're going to spend a lot of time wasting initially and getting very frustrated, seeing no success, wondering what's ha happening and why you're not seeing anything 
and could be something as simple as not putting thumbnails. You'll be surprised how many people who put up videos out there who don't even bother putting thumbnails. Don't see the value of a thumbnail till much later when they've been told and schooled into it. Why a thumbnail is so important. It's like having a book with no cover. Yes, you can do it. I'm not denying it. But if you want to be successful, a cover goes a long way. That's why cover design is a very big thing. And comparing yourself can be very misleading. Many people spend up a lot of time comparing their side hustles with someone else. If someone else is in the middle of their journey or at the end of their journey, then their side hustle. And comparing yourself to them who you are near in your beginning can't be the same. So don't expect to see similar results to someone you have been admiring or following or someone else who started six months ago. They might be in a completely different niche. They might be doing something completely different. And don't try to copy them or wonder why your success is not good as that. Each individual person has different kind of success and it's completely based on your effort and what quality of your content, what is that you're offering. Just because you come on, let's say, to Anand's platform and you start talking, you're not going to become famous. Let's say Anand has you as a guest every day going on for a couple of months. Doesn't mean you're going to find a success when you go individually. Keep that in mind. Don't keep comparing yourself. And set yourself realistic milestones before you start deciding doing any venture. Don't set things crazy like I'm going to have a YouTube channel today or I'm going to start an Instagram pro page today and I'm going to have overnight uh, 100,000 followers or I'm going to have a million followers by the end of the year. So keep milestones realistic, something which you can keep yourself motivated to achieving to do. And uh, if you don't keep it like that, you'll give up even before you start. Many people think that putting effort when in reality they're really doing the bare minimum. This is a skewed perception a lot of you suffer from and even I suffer from and you get so premature disappointment and I've done a video about that on the podcast about uh, you know challenging yourself and pushing yourself uh, pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. This applies to your side hustle too. Side hustle doesn't mean you just do something relaxed, something without much effort and you're just going to make money. It doesn't work like that. It's just It's called a side hustle because it's it's aside from your main line of work your main line of income but like all things which is income related it only happens when you put serious effort so don't think carried away or get into the misconception of a side hustle and uh, not put the effort it has to be equal effort and you have to have equal planning and equal effort and uh, a lot of people leave, don't even bother trying side hustle because they don't believe it's for them they think uh, they can't uh, do the side hustle thing they just don't have uh, the talent, they don't have the bandwidth. You'll be surprised the amount of uh, time you have in your hands in a day, the amount of effort you can put if you put your soul and mind behind it. And uh, I would suggest it's something heart uh, felt and heartwarming or heartwarming or heartfelt would not be the right thing. Rewarding, I would say that would be the right way, way to say it. It'd be enriching and rewarding effort to do when you try something on the side by yourself for yourself and you see some reward coming out of that it's quite gratifying to do it strongly encourage everybody to try to try their hand at a side hustle even if you really don't need the money just as for a personal growth to try it something to push you into growing as a person and before you abandon any of your projects if you've been doing it for some time spend some time reflecting on it whether you truly put in everything and if you tried all avenues to achieve success if it is something that you want to do why it failed and reflecting on it can be very fruitful for you before you decide to shut shop. The simple reason is to learn from that mistake by reflecting on why it didn't succeed or why it failed or why it didn't put effort. You'll come to learning a lot about yourself personally. So in your next venture, you'll be able to do a better, do a better job of it. So this is what I want to talk to you about today. I want to talk about uh, how side hustles uh, work, why it doesn't succeed for most people, why it's not meant to succeed for most people if they don't do these simple things what I had mentioned before. I hope your Saturday is wonderful. Please do take care of yourself out there if you are planning to have fun tonight. And I'll see you guys Sunday morning bright and early to do this all over again. Thank you.